you guys doing, everybody? So we just got back from seeing Justice League. Sorry, this is a little uh, later than planned. You know, busy schedules School. and all that stuff. Yeah, you know, we have lives outside. So Justice League, you know, it's essentially the culmination of the DCEU so far, except minus Suicide Squad. That was just kind of out there. But uh, it's about... Bruce Wayne and Diana Prince forming the league after Superman's death because they know there's a threat coming and a threat does come. So, uh, Peter, why don't you start us off? What do you think? Okay, uh, I thought it was good. Definitely, like, leaps and bounds better than Batman v Superman. I am not a fan of Batman v Superman. I am. He is. But basically, uh, this movie isn't as edgy as Batman v Superman. It just tra it gets rid of the dark tone and... While it's not, like, some kind of comedy as in, like, Thor Ragnarok or Spider-Man Homecoming or something, it does, uh, it finds a good balance between serious moments and, uh, lightheartedness. But on that topic, there aren't a ton of super serious moments. There's only, like, uh, a few major ones I can think of. One of them works really well. The other doesn't work that well, but it's fine. It doesn't last long. Uh, but yeah, the tone throughout the movie is pretty steady. It manages to find a balance. Uh... The pacing is actually pretty good. It's only like a two-hour movie, and it manages to keep a steady pace throughout. It might be a little bit slow at the beginning because the Justice League doesn't do much Justice Leaguing to like halfway through, but otherwise, uh, the pacing was really good. Uh, acting was good all around. There were some cheesy lines that might this more the writing than the acting, but like there is a fair amount of cheese in this movie it's not like a cheesy movie there are just some moments that have some cheese uh, usually for nostalgia purposes or to make a joke but uh, it didn't really take me out of the movie I actually kinda liked it I like a good a little bit of cheese on my movies I think the word fun is what you're looking for right? fun I don't know man I thought it was a little cheesy but I liked it uh, this movie was fun it, it had moments that were fun that weren't cheesy though which is pretty cool and uh, but yeah back to the acting the acting was good all around uh, highlights were what's his face is Flash Ezra Miller is Flash Jason I'm not going to give highlights they all did a great job uh, so along the lines of like uh, Batman and Wonder Woman they're basically the same characters as they were in Batman v Superman and Wonder Woman respectively except I mean Batman's a lot less edgy like cause this isn't Batman v Superman but uh Characters were good. There weren't any crazy arcs in this. Uh, Cyborg had a bit of an arc that kind of just got kind of fizzled out a bit, which was a little disappointing. But I feel like he didn't need that whole arc anyway, so I was disappointed that it didn't go anywhere with it, but I would have rather they just didn't include it at all. Uh, so yeah, that's acting, characters, pacing. Plot was pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah, plot was good, except it wasn't that good. So the main bad guy, Steppenwolf, kind of comes out of nowhere. Anything we learned about him is given through exposition. He looks really bad. He's a big gray CGI monster. The CGI on Seven Wolves is okay. It's not great. It's not terrible, though. It's not like it's uncanny valley or anything. But yeah, Seven Wolf wasn't a great character. His motivations aren't fluid. And when you do get some decent motivation, or not decent, when you get motivation for him, it's like destroy the world because I want to destroy the world. It was pretty lame. Uh, he's a big gray and orange blob like the rest of the DCEU villains. I think that's something they need to overcome. And uh, he, they did the whole mindless hordes of enemy things that's been done in the two Avengers movies and Suicide Squad and other things like that, uh, which was a little disappointing. But I think the highlight of this movie is definitely the relationships between the main members of the Justice League. They work off each other pretty well. Uh, and even when it's not in a comedic sense, they just really have some chemistry I can feel there. And I th hope to see more of that in time to come. Like, the best scenes of this were when they were all together, and that's a big theme of the movie, actually, is, like, working as a team. But the best scenes of this were when they were all together uh, doing whatever, kicking ass or just talking and stuff, which was cool. So, yeah, the best part of that was them. Uh, so, yeah, overall, it was a good movie. I had a fun time. Uh, so I had fun in a DCEU movie, which is good, because even Suicide Squad, which is trying to be the comedic fun movie, Bad. I mean, I had fun with Wonder Woman, though. That was good. But yeah, this was definitely more lighthearted uh, along the lines of kind of Wonder Woman. Uh, a little less serious than Wonder Woman. But yeah, the plot was a little messy. But the pacing, the tone, and the characters... The pacing, tone, characters, and acting were all great. And so, yeah, I had a good time with this movie. 
this is supposed to be kind of a back and forth, you know, right? Not uh, you ramble on and do the review while I sit here and kind of wait for you to finish. I did not know that. Shut up. Uh, yeah, for the most part, I kind of feel the same way. I really enjoyed all the characters. The bad guy, I don't care. I, it's never been about the bad guys for me. It's always about the heroes. I mean, that's what you go into a superhero movie for. I mean, think about it. Like, don't doesn't a good bad guy make the movie so much better? Like, think about uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Like, the character of the Vulture was great because while he was a bad guy, you understood what he was doing, and that made it all the better. Yeah, but I, I don't... I, I'm fine with a disposable bad guy so long as you have great heroes that beat him up because in the end they're gonna lose that's, fair enough fair enough that's fine yeah i think uh really all the cast did stand out it was really good to see everybody come back everybody uh fulfill their new roles specifically uh momoa ezra miller and uh ray fisher um uh, big shout out to uh, ray fisher i mean this is your first actual credit that wasn't that cameo in bvs so good on you man is I it think really doing, yeah wow that's pretty yes. good so you're doing a pretty good job so far um, but, uh, yeah, I think you kind of took everything. <laughs> Apparently there was like 45 minutes out of this movie that was cut, and, uh, I'm really interested to see how that goes. I feel like the movie was a bit choppy at points, but besides that, I thought that was a really light tone, a really fun vibe throughout the entire movie, and, uh, that's not a spoiler that Superman comes back, and I feel like Henry Cavill does a great job. I feel like this is the best incarnation of Superman we have had. And it's all kind of been building up to this, and I feel like now people are... The Superman that we have after Justice League, I feel like, is going to be the Superman that we have going forward throughout the rest of the DCEU. And, uh, yeah, I feel like you talked about everything else, so what would you rate this? I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. And going back, if you're a longtime fan of this channel, you will also know that I gave Wonder Woman a 7 out of 10. Uh, upon seeing it again, I think Wonder Woman deserves a much higher score. This uh, this movie isn't as good as Wonder Woman, but still, uh, it's a fun time. You'll enjoy it if you go see it. Yeah, now I'm going to give it a seven and a half. I I think it's kind of on par with what Wonder Woman was. Uh, going back and actually seeing it again, I feel like there are some problems here and there. Um, but that's our review. That's his review, and then me saying a few things as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and comment on this video. Have you seen Justice League? Are you planning on seeing Justice League? Let us know in the description. Please try not to spoil anything in this in the uh, comments if you guys let, if you guys do comment on this video. Uh, make sure to like the video as well and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Our both our social medias will be linked down below. If you go to our T Public store, there's a bunch of different merchandise you can buy, uh, different designs for a bunch of different stuff. It's the holiday season, man. If you want to get something really cool, buy an Arm Network shirt. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.